What is up people, Rivers here. This video is for the ones who struggle with Shang's combos, his BNBs and his skull juggles. For that reason I've turned on my camera, so you can see exactly which order I do the inputs. I'm using a PS4 controller and I'm on PC right now. So um, yeah, before we start, here are my settings. I'm playing on uh, medium window timing, release check off. Alternate controls off, input shortcuts on, button shortcuts on, vibration off. I also switched um, the cameo button to L1 instead of R1 because I think it's just more convenient in my case. And uh, yeah, my grab is on R1. So let's start with this BNB first as I'm getting the most comments about this one. So his BNB is uh, going like this. Right. Uh, 38%. And um, yeah, I see comments about um, not being able to connect the skulls into kicks. And we will over that for now. So first of all you can input the string like completely so you can do the full, full string and uh, it will go off automat automatically right and just when he finishes the string you input down forward one once again okay this is uh, the first step. After that, follow up with a kick. And after the kick, right when it hits, we input the next down forward one. Right? Yeah, after that, you just do the same with forward four. Right? And after that, you just finish it with a forward four. Down back one, uh, down back three, sorry. Right. As you've noticed, um, you have the timing keeps um, getting tighter as she's falling down more quickly, so the gravity. Um, is against us here. Right. If you, uh, if she falls too low, you will miss your down, down back uh, three. And if you kick too early, you will miss the second down forward one. Just, just, just wait, like a split second before you input the first kick. Right? You have all the time in the world. It's pretty straight, straight, straightforward. You should be able to do this with your eyes closed. Um, because, um, yeah, it's really simple, you, you really can't miss it. Like I said, only if she's falling too low and your inputs are too slow, then you might miss the last um, down back, down back three. But other than that, it's, um, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. And the same concept applies to your other launchers, like two, four. You can't do the kick tw uh, twice, you can only do it once, from 2-4, and you forward 4, so 4, forward 4, forward 4, and down back 3, right? Same with forward 3. Here you can actually do um, your full BNB. Next up, we will talk about his um, form swaps mid combo. Um, for example, if you um, hit your opponent with a forward four, you um, want to sw swap to your old form, right? Because this is your best string. Um, you can do something like this. It's too hard, right? If you have Kung Lao. 
this is a much easier uh, version. But uh, if you do, if you want to do his BNB off of his uh, young form, you have to form swap. Right. Um, the trick is to input forward four, then um, down and L two. Right. And then, as soon as you do that, you have to input your um, one to one. Okay. So practice that until you get it down perfectly. I also miss this in, in my match matches, so don't worry. Um, as I said, if you don't feel comfortable um, online doing this, uh, you can still opt for this, right? After you do this... Yeah. This is another point where we have to um, swap forums. Right? And um, the way this works is after you kick, so after the pop up, you input your fireball, so down forward one, and then you press L2. I usually do down L2 because um, that's safer, so the input goes off um, every time. But you, this also works if you just input L2, his stance. Right, as you as you can see in the um, command list, if you can see it, um, I've input um, my kick, down forward one, and then just the stance, not not the down down stance. Right, so you have to practice um, these. Of course, um, I would suggest you to do this um, before every um, session, online session, offline session, whatever. Practice this, and um, this, right, these are the more common ones. There's also a case where you do this, right, but I usually don't use this. I don't know, it's, um, you, you can't see it right now, it's 10 frames. Um, I usually punish with my uh, my two, which is eight frames. After you hit your opponent with your back two, back one two, you, you form swap. Like right, if you do it too early, he will um, finish the string in old form, which is this. You have to let him hit, and then form swap. Right. Same applies to his um, two four. Right. In young form, this is this one. In old, this is that. It's a high low. You can um, do this in two ways. You can either opt for this. Right. If if you punish your opponent, so if if, if that's the punish then this works. If it's not a punish um, and you want to catch your opponent with a low, you have to do this um, after you input your two. Right, so you input two four and form swap immediately. Right, same goes the other way. So you have to be old in old form before the second kick comes in. Okay, but uh, if you do, if you want to do the punish, then you have to transform after the two, uh, after the four. Sorry, you input um, two four, down four four, down four one, and then form swap. Right, and then you continue the combo. In terms of form swaps, there's also um, the one combo I did with Sector, where he swaps to Young and do his um, 
and he does his uh, triple skulls, right? And then you swap again, and then you ch dash, and then do a full string into um, triple skulls again. And um, yeah, the way this works is uh, you input your first full string, and after your full string, you do down, back, forward for his triple skulls, and at the last hit of your string, you just form swap. So when he's about to finish his string, you do uh, input down, back, forward, and then you form swap instantly. Right? In terms of cameos for Shang, I recommend using uh, Kung Lao, Sub-Zero, or Serena. You can also use uh, Sector, but Sector is uh, a bit tricky to use. His rocket, um, you have to time his rocket perfectly. Um, in my opinion, it's really hard online to do that. But um, if you're comfortable with it, uh, go for it. He's really, really strong if you know what you're doing. But uh, uh, I usually go for Kung Lao. He has uh, a lot of pressure with his, um, with his head. Also, while we are at it, um, keep in mind, if you're spamming your string and you finish the string, uh, not finish the string, but your last input is, is uh, 1, you're at minus 11. So if your opponent knows this, he can pan punish you with uh, 10 frame, 8 frame, whatever, and uh, combo full combo punish you. So the smartest thing to do is... Um, Finish it um, after your uh, first two. So forward, forward, four, one, two. And then you're at minus six. And um, to top it off, you can uh, use Lao's head and you're at plus two frames. So uh, keep in mind, if you're online and you do this, you're most likely going to get punished. And if you do a full string, which is a high, they can just duck it and then uh, also full combo punish you. Um, so don't do that. Just do your first three hits. Maybe backdash and then see if they do it down one. You can backdash and catch them again while they are doing the down one. And uh, you get a full combo. I keep reading comments saying Shang needs another overhead because he only has one. While that is true, you also have um, you also have a grab, right? This is always a mind game, and um, if you often grab in a match, they will most likely neutral duck, right? And uh, if they neutral duck, um, and you condition them to do that, you can go for your mid, right? And this is your mix-up. What I also do is, uh, from this range, I do uh, down forward, uh, forward three, sorry, which is a low. It's safe on block. It's minus two. And uh, if you catch them, you know, you can do your BNB, right? Like that. One thing you can also do with Kung Lao is um, after your EX down back one. You go for um, his head spin, right? And then you dash up, jump in with two. Also release the head, and then it hits uh, lower and overhead at the same time. Uh, works uh, really well and catches uh, catches people off guard very often. One thing I also came up with is. Um, after his down back three, I let him finish the string almost and then go for a teleport into jump two. Right? Um, this uh, doesn't work if your opponent is on delay. So if he has, as you can see, he has um, get up delay on. But if he stands up right after the knockdown you get a full overhead mix um, 
And yeah, I, you can catch some people off guard with this. Uh, it's really, really fun. You don't lose a lot. Um, if your opponent is smart enough, he can uh, jab you out of it. Or, like I said, he can delay his getup. Um, but yeah, you have to test it out. Um, see if your opponent reacts. Most of them don't. And if they do, uh, you have to come up with... Uh, yeah, different approach. For example, you can do um, the air fireball or EX um, air fireball and um, see if that works. Um, yeah, that's just uh, one of the things I want to wanted to mention. Um, it's like I said, pretty pretty fun to use. works um, really often, surprisingly, and yeah, just uh, test it out, practice it, and uh, see if you can get uh, catch your opponent with it. Now we will go over his Kung Lao combo, which I showcased multiple times in my videos. The one I'm talking about is this one. Right, it's um, 43%, costs 2 bars, because um, this move um, yeah, costs 2 bars. But um, yeah, it's a pretty fun one, I like this combo a lot, 43% uh, is uh, pretty good, in my opinion. And yeah, the way it works is um, we do his BNB. Right, and um, we end it with EX, down back 3, into Kung Lao, teleport. And the thing is, you have to hold the teleport, otherwise it will just um, leave you in front of her and you can't do anything. If you hold it, you can actually do a jumping move, right? So the way this works, you can practice this um, after you know your BNB inside and out. Um, <coughs> you do down back, um, EX down back, 3, in old form, and you cancel it with the TP. As you can see, we um, also juggled her three times. And this is the part where uh, most of the people also struggle. Like, um, they do the input and the skull just doesn't come out. Like that. If you do it right, um, you don't see Shang moving at all. You have to do the inputs um, after the hit. Not while she's hit, while she's being hit. Like when you hear the hit sound, right? This one. You have to input the next one, and the next one, and the next one. There is no specific trick to this. You have to practice the timing. I understand when people have issues with this. You can't do the inputs while he's in animation. Like he has to finish the animation first. And then you can input the next one. See? I can't do the inputs right now. He will just move, because he is still in animation. But if I let him raise, um, lower his arms again... Right? I can do the second one. And the same applies to the third one. This is very important um, if you want to do his juggles. Right, you've seen this combo also many times on my channel. My tip is to do a forward 4 into 
down back EX one, you practice the skulls. Far, close. Far, close, far, close, so on and so forth. In terms of corner combos, you can also do is basic BNB. &B. Right. Make sure you only use close fireballs in the corner. And um, after your first down back one, you back dash, you back dash, and then four, and then you forward dash and four. And then you continue with forward four, down back one, and then forward four, down back um, three for syringe. You can also do a side switch. Right. There is a specific timing when he's floating over your head. You have to wait until Shang swaps uh, faces um, towards the opponent. Right. If you do it too early, you might <laughs> you might catch him like that, or you miss. Right. Same with four. Sometimes he switches. And sometimes he doesn't. Make sure to practice this combo in the corner. It's uh, really easy and um, does a lot of damage. One of the reasons why Sheng is also really strong is his zoning. Make sure you use it. And um, yeah, force, uh, force people to block. To um, If they want to jump, they certainly cannot jump over this. And um, if you want to get a lot of chip damage, call in uh, Lao's head before you do your triple skulls, and uh, that way all of your fireballs will hit them for a uh, full chip. Right. Lately I've been um, using Morph a lot. Um, in matchups I feel comfortable with it. So, uh, for example, Melina. Um, she has a pretty good string, high overhead mid. The last hit is a flawless, flawless blockable, but um, many people don't do it. Um, if you're scared to do this, you can do 4 2 4 into a launcher. Right, you have to um, keep in mind your uh, more timings, and uh, this is a whole another topic. Um, your meterless morph is shorter than your um, one bar, your EX morph. Your EX morph has uh, a lot of active um, active time and uh, you can do a lot of stuff with it. Like that, 50%, um, uh, you won't get that with... Uh, Shanks, uh, Shanks combos at all. So, morphing is a um, whole other topic, but uh, in my opinion, uh, really worth if you know what you're doing. I usually um, practice uh, combos for Melina, Ashra, Johnny. Um, what else? Let me think. Smoke. I also practice Xiao. And as I keep uh, playing and practicing, I will add more characters to it. So if I see them online and I feel comfortable doing it, I will morph and then, um, yeah, try to catch them with my buffed character and um, do a lot of damage. If you're using Sector or Sub-Zero, you can do it after the rocket hits or after the freeze. Um, it's a safe way to morph. Um, because they are staggered or frozen and then uh, you can safely morph and then continue your combo. Um, there is one really really good setup with uh, Kenshi um, while using um, Shang and Sub-Zero. Like after you freeze them you can um, get out Sento and then you have a full Sento setup um, which is uh, really really good. For anti-airs Shang has um, not many options like uh, 
if it's very obvious, you can do a um, close fireball, ground skull. Or you can do a two, which I often often use. It uh, has a really high hitbox. Right. Or you can do a four. But uh, some characters have a really, really strong um, jump attack. Jump in attack like, like Johnny has. Johnny is really, really hard to enter air. I wouldn't even try it. Um, in that case, I would just up block. If you know he's going to kick. If he fakes it and he just jumps and then uh, you are in up block, he can uh, grab you for uh, more damage. Because if you didn't know, if you up block and you do it uh, wrong, so you didn't block an overhead with it, uh, your opponent does more damage with his combos. So keep that in mind. Uh, as I said, um, use 2. Is it has a really, really high hitbox. Or 4, or um, down back 1. In terms of his fatal blow, you can do his string. Right. And while you're at it, you just spam all four buttons for maximum damage. I know it looks really weird. <laughs> but as you can see, we are doing 514 damage. And if I didn't do that, uh, we would get um, 488 damage. So keep in mind, um, this is a really useful tip. Uh, with every character. If you do a fatal blow, just spam all your four buttons. Right? And then uh, you get uh, the maximum damage. Another thing you can do if you want to use a fatal blow and your opponent doesn't have a lot of life left, you can do it uh, after your EX down back one. Right? And yeah, that's about it for his fatal blow. If you're facing a Kenshi player, which. Um, does this move at full, full screen? Make sure you up block that. And if you up block that, you can also punish him with the full combo. Like that. So make sure you practice that and. Um, don't let him hit you with that. If you don't want to up block, you can also do a jump. Doesn't hit you in the air. And while you're in the air, you do uh, air skull. Right. Right. In my opinion, it's, it's better to up block. If you don't want to spend a bar, just um, do your far ground skull if you want to do meter less. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope all of your questions have been answered. If not, make sure to uh, let me know in the comments and I will gladly reply to you and make another video, maybe. If I've missed something, let me know. Um, also, thank you all for the support. Um, my channel has been growing lately and I'm really, really happy with all the people liking my content and all the feedback I'm getting. It's a lot of fun. I can't do it full time right now, sadly, but uh, I would uh, love to do it one day, maybe. We'll see how far it goes. As always, thanks for watching, guys, and um, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.